Hi family and welcome back to Doing Life with Pastor Dono and Pastor Chantel. It's great to be with you on this Wednesday afternoon. We're so glad that you could join us with this awesome topic that we're going to be talking about. Yeah, And today we want to talk to you about how to overcome fear and anxiety. And you know, fear is such a common thing that, that all of us experience at least once in our life. Yeah. But it's important that we know that we shouldn't allow fear to control us. Yeah control our emotions yeah because when that start happening we step out of faith yeah and we and we don't put that trust in god so this weekend i'm going to be ministering around this topic okay. you know how to overcome fear and anxiety in our lives and today we thought we just want to spend yeah. just a couple of points i'm obviously going to speak about it in more detail in the service on sunday mm. we don't have time to go through everything but um, I said to Pastor Chantal, it's such a relevant thing. It's such mm. a thing that a lot of people battle with. Mm. And how do you overcome fear and anxiety? Right. It's all good and well to say, yeah. don't be fearful. Don't be anxious. But how do we actually overcome this? What do we actually yeah. physically need to do yeah. to overcome fear and anxiety that comes along? And it is certainly a tool that the Satan uses to attack our lives. That's right. Because when you become fearful, you don't think straight. Yeah. You know? You make um, decisions that you, that you didn't pray about it, you didn't think about it, mm. and it penalizes us, spiritual, spiritually penalizes us. Mm -hmm. And like you said, this is such a big tool that the enemy is using mm. um, to, in today's life yeah. in peop um, um, uh, against people. Sure. So what we want to focus on is we want to focus on a scripture in the book of Matthew where Jesus speaks mm. this parable he speaks about the wise and the foolish man. Mm. And in Matthew, um, he speaks about the fact that the wise man will build his house on, on the, the rock. Word. Yes, which is the word. Which is the word, yes. all right? And when the storms come, that house will stand. Mm. But similarly, the foolish man also builds. Mm. So it's important to notice that there's a building mm. that happens in both scenarios. Mm. The foolish man builds his house on the sand, however. The Bible says when the storms come and the winds blow, that house will not stand. That's right. It will be destroyed because the pressure of the storm, the pressure of the problem mm. will come again, that's coming against that house will cause that house to fail. That's right. And then the key is, Jesus says, the person that hears the word and does it, mm. and there's the key that does the word of God, right. he is the wise man. Right. He's likened to a wise man. And so Jesus is telling us, if you want to be wise, yeah. be a doer of God's word. Yeah, be in the word. Absolutely. Because that is, a, that is when you can, that, that's when you know what the word says and what you need to do. What you need to do. Because, you know, the fear with fear and anxiety is, is it, when it controls you, you will stay stagnant. Mm -hmm. You won't move forward in your faith. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that is it. It will keep you in bondage. Yeah. So if you're in the Word constantly, if you're in the Word every day, mm -hmm. you, you will hear what the Word yeah. is saying and, and, and start applying it. So when we, speak about, mm -hmm. when we speak about a wise man being able to hear the Word of God and do the Word of God, mm -hmm. similarly, the same scripture text mm -hmm. speaks about a foolish man. He mm -hmm. hears the Word but he does not do it. Yeah. You know, so hearing the word of God in it in itself will not bring change. That's right. But we have to be doers of God's word. Yeah, because the, 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 the word also says it's like a man looking in a man and when he looks away, he, he forgets, forgets what, what he looks, he looks like. like yeah. Because you deceive yourself. That's right. When you don't do the word. That's right. And a man, the Bible says that yeah. hears the word, doesn't do it, deceives himself, as you rightly yeah. says. So we don't even need the devil to deceive, to deceive us, us. That's right. if we simply mm. just think that it's good enough for us to sit under the word of God, mm. but we don't implement the things in our lives, we're deceiving ourselves. Yeah. And so notice how that parable speaks about both parties, both the wise and the foolish, yes. knows to build. Mm. They know that there's a building that needs mm. to take place. And so we cannot build a house in the middle of a storm. We have to be prepared for storms to come. Because again, we've said this so many times mm -hmm. that Jesus says in this life, you will have, you will have trouble. trouble. So mm -hmm. we need to be prepared. So we need to build our yeah. faith by reading the word of God. Mm -hmm. Bible says faith comes yeah. by hearing the word of God. So we need to build our faith mm -hmm. in the times 
when things are calm. Yes. Perhaps when we're not facing storms in our life. But we need to continuously yeah. build. And that is what the wise and the foolish has got in common. Mm. We know that there's a building to take place. But the one builds the house on the word of God. The other one builds his house on perhaps things that he's heard. Yeah. Advice that he received yeah. from people. Um, worldly advice that perhaps he received. He builds his house on the fact that, um, you know, this is how I think we should overcome yes. challenges, yeah. prepare for problems. That's right. Instead of taking it to God yeah. and asking God, Lord, you give me wisdom, mm. you give me guidance. And yeah. so they don't approach God. They don't take God into any form of consultation when they do make yeah. decisions. And you can only do that, you know, when you put your, your full trust in God. Yeah. Because that's what the word says in Zai 41 thing. It says, um, do not fear for I'm with you. Do not be dismayed because I'm your God. Yeah. Yeah. So we need, we can only build our foundation when we fully trust the, trust the Lord. Mm -hmm. When we take him by his word. That's correct. And so, you know, when the text says that um, the houses get built, mm -hmm. both of them, the Bible then says when the storms come. Mm. So there's again confirmation that storms mm. will come. come. And notice how it battered both houses. Yeah. Both the one that was built on the storm on the rock and the one that was built on the sand. So when storms come, it is no storms are no respect of persons. That's so right. whether you're Christian or not, you will face challenges That's in this right. life. Storms will come. The challenge is or the difference is when the storm comes. Do you have a firm enough foundation to withstand those storms? Yeah. Or are you going to be like the foolish man whose house crumbled and was destroyed? And in in turmoil and fear. Yeah. And, and, and that's why it's important that we need to seek God's peace. Yeah. Because we serve the Prince of Peace. Correct. And so when we go through these storms and we seek His peace, we know the bowling can continue. Correct. It doesn't matter what we face. Mm. You know, if we have mm -hmm. peace in him, we can continue building the house. That's right. If we understand that, you know, there is a, a, a storm that's going to come into our lives at some point or the mm -hmm. other, we can understand that the importance of us being able to build our faith mm -hmm. and build our house so that when the storms come, we can stand. It is so that we are not destroyed by problems. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are get knocked down by problems and they kind of like, for a while at least, they mm. stay in that state of defeat. Mm. Whereas, you know, when we have our house built on the rock, on the word of God, mm. we can then, when problems come, we can speak to the problem. We can declare God's promises. That's right. You know, scripture in the Bible says, speak to the mountain. And not about the mountain. And not about the yes. mountain. Speak to it, tell it to be removed. The Bible says, and yeah. if you believe in your heart, whatever you pray for, it will be done for you. Yeah. So, so the key is to replace that fear with something. Mm. So replace it, like you said, with the Word of God. Yeah. And replace it with knowing that your trust is in God and that God loves you, that He will take you out of the situation or He will go with you through the storm. Yeah. He won't just leave you there. Because um, the Bible says, but perfect love casts out fear. Mm. And God is love. Yeah, yeah. So, <coughs> excuse me, friends. So a key to overcoming fear and anxiety is to put it in the hands of God, to build your house, yes. to build your faith before mm. the problem hits. Build your faith. You know, I always say to people, you know, we don't pray for healing, <clears throat> for healing when we are sick. We pray and thank God for healing every single day of our lives. Mm. So when you're healthy, you need to speak healing into your body all yes, the time. Right. You need to say things like, thank you, Lord, that I'm kept healthy. Thank you that your power mm. and your presence continue to flow through me. The anointing of God is upon my life. That's right. Thank you that I'm kept healthy and whole. By the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. You say those things when you are healed. So when sickness tries to enter your body, and when you are able to have the word of God written on your heart, because the Bible then further says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth. the mouth speaks. Right. So you need to have enough word in you, yeah. enough of God's promise in you, that you are able to speak those promises mm. and not speak the problem. That's right. 
and be of good courage. Yeah. Be know that God is with you. Yeah. You believe yeah. what you what you see in the word of what yeah. the, the promises that God gives you. Yeah. Be of good be of good yeah. courage. Take it by 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 but in, in pray con mm. continuously mm. pray about the in and, and see God's face yeah. in, in every um, storm. And that is how you will overcome fear and anxiety. Yeah. You know, fear and anxiety, worrying about the future mm. is really you worrying about something that may or may not happen. Mm. You know, and, and that is why the Bible says don't worry about, about tomorrow. tomorrow. You know, right. sufficient is today's yes. worries. So don't worry about tomorrow. There's nothing that sometimes um, that we can do to sometimes prevent something yeah. from happening. You know, um, circumstances happen and yes. we don't always have a choice in what happens yeah. to us. But what we do have a choice and a control over is how we respond to fear and anxiety. And today we want to just encourage you, you know, respond by the word of God, you know. Nothing freaks the devil out more than the, than word, of the word of God in your mouth, That's Christian. Right. You know, the word of God, the Bible, the Logos word lying on your dressing table next to your bed doesn't scare the devil. Mm. He knows the word. That's the right. devil knows the word better than some Christians do. And so um, the devil even took the word and he quoted it to Jesus. That's Remember right. when Jesus was tempted? That's right. He quoted the word to Jesus, out of context, of course, mm. but um, the devil knows the word, but the word in your mouth is powerful. That is what is sharper than any two edged sword. sword. When the word of God gets spoken, mm. it the devil flees That's because he right. knows the power of the word. Yeah. So, when you become fearful, just seek the presence of God. Yeah, when you become fearful and, and, and anxious, see it as another opportunity to trust God. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Now, that's good. Great. Um, and like I said, you know, there's a lot to be spoken on about yes. this topic. I mean, you know, my preach that um, is going to happen on Sunday. And if you're in the area, come and pay us a visit. But we also make our messages available on, on, on Facebook and on YouTube. But take time out to listen to it because there are some other nuggets that yeah. you may have not thought about that will encourage you and, and help you to get if you're in a fearful situation to help you to get out of it. If you're not, it will build your faith so that when things come, yeah. that you are able to withstand. Yeah. So when you become fearful, when you become anxious, you know, trust God, seek His face, you know, pray about it. And that will open the floodgates yeah. of peace in your life. That's right. Knowing that I can be courageous. Yeah. Knowing that I can bolt my house in the storm. Knowing that I can go put my head down at night and I don't have to be anxious about what tomorrow holds because the word tells me, don't worry about yeah, tomorrow. That's right. Tomorrow's a new day. That's right. And God's grace and mercy is new for us every day. That's right. And that is the promise that you and I need to stand up, stand on, excuse me, when we become fearful and when we become anxious. Yeah. Because the devil just wait to hear what comes out of your mouth. That's right. That's right. Not out of the Bible, but what comes out, out of, of your, your mouth. mouth. Yeah. You know, you're just waiting for that word. Yeah. So speak the word constantly in your mm. situation. Yeah. Well, family, from my side, I don't have anything else that I want to necessarily share at this time. Mm. But I do want to encourage you, you know, uh, God is bigger than any fear right. that may want to come upon mm. you. Bigger than any worry um, that's looming. Um, know this, that if you put your trust and your faith in God, mm. um, the Bible says you will ne never forsake the righteous. You will never let yeah. you fall and stumble and then stay down. Yeah. And also, number I want to just end off with this, Numbers 14, 28 says, Whatever you say in my hearing, that I will do for you. So whatever you declare in, from your mouth to God's ears, God will do it for you. So from our home to your home, we love you. And we continue praying for you. And I'm looking forward to the full sermon on, on Sunday. On, on Sunday. Yeah. So um, it will be available on YouTube and on Facebook on Sunday morning, family. You know, go listen to it. Bolt your faith up and yeah. see what God can do for you. Well, God bless you. Have a great week further. Yes. And you live in victory as God has given you. 
the victory Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen.